Greetings everyone and welcome to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolova, or Monsieur Mokolova, in which we are playing as the French. Now, why the French? Well, I never play as a French in any campaign, really. Any game, regardless. Uh, so, what we're doing here is basically like we normally do in Victoria 2. We save scum a lot, but we beat up a lot of natives and we take their land. But the most important part right now is that we gotta get some land back from France that was unfortunately stripped away from us because of a few... <clears throat> people who wanted to revolt. And as you can see, I already have some infamy here. But let's go to war and get back the land we so deserve from the evil, evil Haitians. Oh, I love it. But actually, let's see. I made us go to the Reactionary Party, which totally won't do anything bad for us. Just because I want to save capitalism. And I've already begun to build some factories, I believe, in, yep, a lot of places. The Aldens. Uh, so obviously, with France and Victoria 2, we're going to have a little bit of a, a kerfuffle, as uh, Alex Rambler might say, um, regarding <clears throat> warfare uh, in terms of our neighbors, most notably those who are of the Germanic uh, persuasion, we'll say. So we will have to deal with them. Now, honestly, I'm not good enough, I think, in Victoria 2 for me to actually, you know, beat them down the first time. Maybe. It mostly depends. Oh, there are people there. Uh, for me, at least, it mostly depends whether or not we can... Uh, Oh, crap. Louis Napoleon. Louis Napoleon. Oh, no. Uh, get a good enough d d defender general. So, obviously, De La Brunerie is not very great. But an outspoken critic of our regime, the current head of the Bonapartes, has been granted asylum in Switzerland. And from there is encouraging our subjects to challenge his legitimacy. Should we demand the Swiss extradite him? Extradite him? He was ramblings in the Alps are of no threat to us. Uh, oh, hmm. Do we want him back or not? I really don't care. Uh, all pops get 1% more consciousness. Well, I'm not exactly ready to deal with rebels yet. I'm still trying to, you know, reform the army and such. And our army isn't that too great. And we will go to war with Algeria later on, too, because Algerians don't need a lot. And we'll probably go to war with Italy. But my goal is to get a lot more ports, we'll say, from this certain big boy around here. Uh, you know what? We'll demand it. And also, to do this, we can't actually go to war with the Qing Empire. Uh, yeah, just be and we don't have the treaty port justification because, from my understanding, you probably need the naval this this little technology right here to go to war with them, which is weird, but you know whatever. But whatever, it is what it is. We're having a good time, hanging out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come over here so we can finish up Santo Domingo as fast as possible. Regulated buying and selling of stocks. I love stocks. Oh, what is this? Message filter sending. So I've never done that before. Regardless, very very cool. Uh, Morocco. Hmm. I love Africa, but not that part. Also, we... I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest here, like, I set things up off-screen, like, a week ago at the time of me recording this, so I don't exactly remember what I did already. Um, I'm trying to get more influence. I would like to ha invest very heavily into Asia in this campaign, but whether that happens or not, we'll see what happens. Egypt. Ooh, Egypt could not... Could be pretty good, too, to get under our belt. However, I do definitely want these guys... Africa, Ethiopia, will be fun to take out. Madagascar, we definitely need to get. And here are the decisions we can take eventually. So, th this is the normal stuff. Create Yugoslavia, of course, which would be kind of cool if we could do that. Build the Suez, build the uh, Suez and Panama Canals. Pretty normal. Et la Légion étrangère. I don't speak French. It is what it is. I'd like to do this, but we do need to get Army Professionalism. Chanoin's Expedition, where we can need... Nationalism and Imperialism, which is... Oh, wow, that's a lot of... Oh, I thought it was prestige points. No, this is just research points. Abilid Palais Garnier. Uh, as you can tell, I don't speak French at all. L Lambert Charter. We need Nationalism and Imperialism. Seems like a really important one. And then the Left Bank. Okay, State and Government, which is... Oh, more infamy. Get prestige, though. Annex Mayotte. We need medicine. Mayor. Oh, Okay. And then claim Savoy, which we will probably have to do. Uh, that would be another thing. And we need nationalism and imperialism. We get cores. Sardinia, Piedmont, and French language schooling. We need basically some schooling and stuff like that. And we remove Picard, Occitan, the Breton, and French Canadian from accepted cultures. And the Saint Barthélemy question. So, and the Convention over the Danish Straits. It is what it is. And I would love to violate Swiss neutrality. But that requires us to be jingoistic, and we get pretty much max infamy, which is not very good. Who is this? Two Sicilies? Well, I think I'm doing these guys. Yeah. Sardinia Piedmont. Hello? Two Sicilies? No, no. Oh, very boy, no. 
Now, obviously, we've got to get involved in Italy, which I don't really care about. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't really care. Also, this is it. Because I'm taking out Haiti right now, I'm setting ourselves up for a potential invasion, potentially, 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 to invade Mexico. Because we can. I don't know. Why not? Uh, I don't really care about those states. I just want to take these guys down. Oh, we got to build a bigger army. As some might say, we got to build, build back better. Some might say that. But I do have a cup of green tea. No, black tea. Black hibiscus tea, I think. Maybe pineapple tea? I can't remember. Let's see. I don't want to lower our army amounts, so let's take a look. National focuses. I'm almost already trying to get bureaucrats all over the place. Pretty normal. Paris is already maxed out with bureaucrats. Recruitment, uh, go all the way up to there. And they are actually looking not too bad, so that's actually pretty good. So you guys just come to... Is that... I think you pronounce this Kane? Khan? Kane? Kayan, as Earth Americans would call it, probably. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Oh, uh, I don't really want to get rid of that, but that's alright. Let's see, we need more infantry or artillery here anyways. Let's grab some artillery. Artillery and artillery. And bone. French artillery is not bad. I'd rather not use, like, actually... French soldiers, because I want to make sure the French pops are actually okay, but whatever. A uh, professor criticizes voting system. A professor at one of our most prestigious universities has published a tract on political philosophy. The tract argues in favor of a variant of the Jeffersonian or Jefferson method of appointing representatives to the upper house. The Jefferson method is the highest averages method, and the purpose is of it is to allocate seats in proportion to the number of votes a particular party list has received, by maintaining the ratio of votes received to seats allocated as close as possible. The tract has received a fair amount of na both national and international attention. The publication gives us a window of opportunity to try to reform our voting systems, but we could perhaps be content with some international prestige on account of what the publication is instead. Well, what is the government specific? Push for reform? Plurality? I want more... Oh, prestige! I like prestige, but we have quite a bit more prestige, and we'll get more prestige as we take out other nations, so... Uh, Jefferson Method? I want more plurality. I think it'd be good. And we're doing okay on our economy. It's not great. I, well, as you can see, we got a lot of things here. Uh, projects. Uh, On-screen, off-screen. I'm going to be developing a lot more, hopefully... You know, factories, because I want to make sure our industrial score is pretty gosh darn decent. Uh, man, this guy's take forever to do this stuff. Budget-wise, we max out education. We could probably actually... I eh, don't really care about the UK right now. Insurance companies, more tax efficiency. I think so. We're taxing the living crap out of poor people, which I love. Oh, now that kind of hurts us a little bit more. Okay, go back down. Anyways, we, oh, look at this. Oh, we have slavery. I love I love that. Oh, yeah. Center press, free press? I think free press, yeah. I prefer free press and slaves than... Outlawed slavery and no pr free press? Don't quote me on that. For I hope we're with, with past the two-minute mark, which we probably are. I can't, I'm not even... Okay, what happened to Spain? I'm not even, like, timing myself. I usually have a stopwatch to time myself, but... Oh, well. Yeah, like that. And Spain, well... I still need to play with Spain, but... Okay, they lost to Carl of Spain. Um... All right. They lost prestige plurality. Wow. Well... All right. Hey, at least we got something done here or immediately, like within the first two years. That's great. We got free press. We get some more literacy impact on stuff. Get more political awareness. Switzerland? No, I don't want to get involved. The Germans are going to do whatever the Germans are going to do, and I don't really care about the Germans too much. Like, for realsies, I'm I'm scared of the Prussian beast. Like, it's not going to be easy. And I don't mind losing the first war. I don't mind giving them all sorts of rain. That's why I'm not building in there. So, if I have to give it up to them, so be it. But, whatever. Besides, you just have to wait until, like, World War One when you get gas attack and Great Wars, so... That's basically when we'll beat up the Germans. So, a dry spell in one of our colonies has caused friction between colonial officials and locals. The lion's share of the res reservoir water in the area has been diverted to colonial factories and plantations, leaving many local smallholders with insufficient water for irrigation. As the days turn into weeks, tensions continue to rise. Diverting more water to local farms is an option, but might be viewed internationally as a sign of weakness. Um, I don't want to lose prestige. Ah... Yes, why not? That just gets more uh, efficiency. I love efficiency. But I would also love... I'm supposed to hurry up and finish our research with positivism. And this war with Haiti. What is this? What else do we want to do? Puerto Rico's still Spanish. Uh, we might be able to get involved in Venezuela. Might not be bad. Actually, we might just go to war early with Colombia. Just so we can take... Oh, they're allied with Mexico already. Well, that, that probably shouldn't be too bad of a problem. I just, I just want Panama. Just so we can have that for now. Actually... I'm allied with the British. Wait, what's going on with the British? Hold on, hold on. Now we're fighting these guys. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. That's fine, I don't care. I'll be honest, man. I don't really care. Well, people don't like being in the UK. 
But then again, it is the UK. End the war with the Sikhs. Oh, wait, I can do something here? The British consider the Anglo-Sikh war their business, and we should not get involved with it. Um, I'm going to keep my alliance with the Brits for now. You never know if you might be able to use them and abuse them. Because if you're not using and abusing, what's the point of it? Don't quote me on that either. Hussars and artillery while they have infantry. Um, I'm going to throw you guys back over here so we can help maybe get things guys down a little bit faster. Yeah, actually, I probably think we might just go to war with Colombia after this. Yeah, they're not super strong. They have 6-4, so that's not too bad. Oh, Burka, Gurkhas, Askeris, and Tiralars. I was born under French rule. All my life I've dressed in French clothes, been taught and spoken the French language. It should not surprise anyone that I'm willing to die for my country. A tradition of support for France and French rule has taken hold in one of our colonies, and several other natives have expressed support for ideas that have floated around the colonial office for some time of setting up native military regiments to help maintain order in our colonies. My love subject to serve your country's best at home are a fantastic idea that we should spare no effort in implementing. Absolutely. I love the prestige. Oh. Well, isn't that beautiful? Now all is right with the world. Now, I can't guarantee that we will be at war with Colombia next, but we'll see what happens. And now it is time for us to actually probably spend a little bit more on our military, actually. Give it about a month or so. We've got 4.94 infamy. Saves coming works wonders. It takes forever to do, though, but whatever. Let's see. So with this, we're still making at least a little bit of money. Also, we want to get Carlos Spain under our wing. We can go to war with Colombia, but give us just a little bit longer, and then we'll go to war. We've got enough money in the bank that I'm feeling pretty good about it. Actually, it's just, I'll do that anyways. Why not? Spin out. Spend as much as you want for now. Give it one more month or two. Oh, we're doing Luxembourg as well. Uh, sure, why not? Luxembourg, where are you? Ah, uh, I love it. Oh, hello. Spain. Is it worth allying with this Carlos Spanish? Maybe I kind of want Cuba, actually. Or Puerto Rico. Maybe I'll just leave that to the Americans, though. Uh, hmm. This score's not bad. Hmm. Kind of want the Spanish Philippines. Hmm. I'm going to say no. I just want to keep them under us for now, probably. Now, our taxes aren't looking too good, but that's okay. What matters is the military. Uh, let's see. No, Morocco, please. Stop asking me for that stuff, please. Now, let's lower this by a little bit more. We'll get to a nice little place here. If we're losing a few hundred every day, it's fine. As long as the military has their budget. Yeah, let's come down here. Hey, what's going on, Colombia? They're also allied with Brazil as well, so I don't, I don't really care. Calling our allies? Everyone else will accept the Pope I'm allied to. So, Dean of Piedmont and the UK? Well, we'll see what happens. Balboa is what I want. And we're losing population. Go figure. In addition, I'll, I'm going to throw another army from Europe uh, over here as well. Just because we could probably use them. Uh, come down to here. You guys go down there. And then maybe we'll go to war with Algeria. Maybe. Actually, let's double check this too. Trying to get more bureaucrats around here. Yep, that you're done. Yep, you're done. Anywhere else that needs bureaucrats? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's an... Eh, intellectuals wouldn't be bad, but bureaucrats first. Also, here... Ooh. Ooh. Tree of London. All right. Surrender their claims. Okay, Prussia's doing stuff, and before we get too far, look at the culture map mode. So we got Breton over here, we've got, you know, French. There's, you know, South German and French, and there's Picard up there. We have some French over here in North Italian, so it is what it is, so it's kind of vicious. I love the culture map mode, I really, really do. Unfortunately, there's too many Haitians in Haiti, in Haiti, in Haiti. We gotta <clears throat> do some things down there to make sure it looks better. Hopefully no one attacks us, but, oh, we're only fighting Colombia, so Brazil and Mexico broke their lines, which is pretty nice. After this, I don't know if there's any special event we get with Algeria or not. So, also, we did go with, technically, I went with state-controlled uh, trade unions first, but then we were able to go to non-socialist allowed. So, slavery has its benefits. I'm sure this war isn't going too far for us. Ah, uh, 2%. They have up to 7 uh, brigades. Not bad. Yeah, having an extra army here probably would be helpful. Yeah. That's it on my boat, guys. Let's go on a boat. I know everyone wants to come down to Haiti. Everyone loves Haiti. Oh, look at this. What's going on with Carlos Spain? Oh, the UK? Oh, we're all big buddies together. Oh, we are doing naval plans next, just because I wanted to make sure we can go to war with uh, China. Oh, hello. 
Hello, sir. How are you? I might just wait to fight them. Oh, they're reinforcing. That's not good. Hopefully, we get our guys down here quickly enough. Oh, yeah, we do. Very nice. Let's head on down to here again and see what happens. I wonder if we can surround them. And yes, we can. Well, sir. Would you like to get surrounded? We're going to take this. We'll take back Balboa, too. It's fine. It doesn't take too long, especially with their ships there, so. All right. We have you surrounded. Come out. And is this Carlos Spain? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, we could attack. I'm going to wait till we get Balboa done first, though. That's fine. Anything else around here? France between war and Colombia? Whatever. The Battle of Blood River, huh? Um, you know what? I haven't tried attacking before, so let's try it. So what's going on here? Oh, that's not good. Terrain's not very great. It's Central America. What do you expect? Uh, oh, man. We're losing quite a few guys. Hey, but we won, though. That's nice. Follow them. They don't have much organization, which is fine. Find them and beat them up. Oh, Brazil. Eh. I don't want to get involved in South America. Okay, we killed them all off. Now, this army that we just came down here with, not looking too good, now is it? There we go. Uh, peace? Would you like peace? No? Okay. In the meantime, we still got enough uh, points here to have a good time with. Hey, the UK, why not? And how about the Russians? And before I forget as well, bureaucrats maybe? Oh, look at this. So this is the administrative map mode. I don't really care about this place too much. I'm not even going to build roads there. That's how much I don't really care about it right now. Uh, where was it? National focus is... Ah, here we are. 100%. 100%. It's almost at 100%, so... Anything else? Ah, yes. We're going to need some sort of area to land from. Or maybe we'll take a, a place before we go to war with China. I definitely want to go to war with China, but maybe we'll take out Vietnam first, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We shall definitely see what happens. Naval plans for a slightly better Navy. Slightly, 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 slightly. What's going on with the Brits? Ah, Kashmir, eh? Good for them. Oh, and Carlos Spain? Nope, Luxembourg this time. Sardinia Piedmont, Papal States, Le Pope, Le Pope. I love Luxembourg. People are still leaving us. That's big sadness. Just because we like going to war doesn't mean you have to leave us, guys. Jeez. And we should have these guys done soon. Mm, no, whatever. And, oh, we have elections. But no one wants to get rid of slavery, and that's an okay thing. Alright, let's see if we can do this finally. Yep, that's fine with me. Uh, isn't this beautiful? Oh, look at this! I'm not going to get rid of slavery. I love trade unions. I love trade unions. I love, love, love them. Actually, this is really good, even though these are still French soldiers. Uh, th this means that we... Actually, I'm going to put you in Panama City because it's a little easier. can build more... Oh, uh, yeah, build a naval base right there in Panama City. But railroads are nice, and we shall see if we can... I guess we can't make any more military soldiers here. Military soldiers? Just soldiers in general. You guys stay there. Oh, these guys will come to Haiti and kind of hang out and have a good old time. Let's go build more military. Cool. So, we'll see what happens. And so, Napoleon the First returns. A body of Napoleon Bonaparte, who died in 1821. On St. Helena was returned to France in December of 19 or 1840. During the first hundred days, or first few days after his funeral in the Dome des Invalides in Paris, hundreds of thousands paid him their respects on Grand Homme. My bueno, and as you can see, we've got hit with infamy there. So be it, it's not that bad. And now it is time for the Kowloon incident. Oh, okay, cool, kind of cool. And they started mobilizing the reserves. What's going on in the world real quick? Because we can go to war with... Ah, uh, oh, the first opium war. Ah, very nice. And we're starting to do idealism as well. China. 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 But, Algeria, it's time for you to come under the fold a little bit. And we get Constantine. Hopefully. I did throw another army over here just in case. So we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, trying to fight through here is going to be real garbage. 
Uh, where are they headed? Medea? Medea. Okay, that's fine. Let them do whatever they're gonna do. It's fine with me. We're already blockading all of them, so. I just want to make sure that we do not attack. Also, we had the elections, but I already went back to the legitimate reactionary government just so that we can actually invest in our factories, so. Uh, I normally do this just because it sometimes works. Not always, but. I don't want unemployed peoples. And Newfoundland, huh? I'll say Serene, huh? Open everything up. There you go. And make sure you got enough workers everywhere. Alright, so they're, they're moving around, which is totally fine with me. You guys go over there. You go over there, too. Nice. Siege them down. Hopefully we can get rid of them fast enough. And the constitutional crisis. This happens every time you switch parties when you have an election and you don't like the people that what they said. So, countless have quietly, orderly, somberly, peacefully, but permanently asked other rulers to do justice. And the rulers have turned a deaf ear to the protests. Countless ask permission to do, detail the wrongs and force their claims for right, and the House has been resolved they should not be heard. Countless of the slave class have beholden or holden out the olive branch of peace and sought the principle of equality before the law, and the privileged have refused to enter into a treaty. The same class is to be a slave still, class still. The assumption of inferiority is still to be maintained. The people are, are not to be free. When the French monarch promised the people the right to vote, they were expecting their voices to be heard, and instead, the monarch overruled the election results. In Paris, a crowd climbers to the rights to be respected. This blatant disregard for the French constitution is spreading unrest, locking the government and damaging our international reputation, ignore the rabble rousers. Eh, we get slightly more infamy until 1841 for about a year. We lose a prestige and plurality, whatever. I'd rather be able to invest in the economy now so we can maintain a relatively okay industrial base, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so that's done. I'd rather not do too much. Let's see, Constantine, Constantine. If we, if we take out the capital, that might be good enough. They want to go to Bone, obviously, but whatever. Obviously, there's too many guys here, so actually... Uh, what is it like over here? It's grasslands, and they have a bunch of infantry and stuff. 6,000, which are the horses, the 17,000 are the infantry. So we'll see what happens. Let's move over here. They can try to deal with that stuff. And once we're done with this, we're going to go for Mascara. Uh, the Botanical Expedition. Rumors ab abound in botanical circles that the Russian Empire has launched a botanical expedition to Kasselov. According to the rumors, the floor of Kasselov is a veritable cornucopia of beauty and biological diversity. While Kasselov is a Russian colony, we, would, we could attempt to send an expedition of our own. It might be frowned upon, but the discoveries we can make do have some strange allure of their own. Of course we're going to send a French expedition. Who in the right mind would not do that? Maybe if we were bankrupt, maybe. Hey, there we go. Okay, that doesn't look very good. I'm sure there's an event for us to get this, but, you know, whatever. So you guys are going to go right there. You guys are going to go back there. You're going to go home. I'm not even going to deal with you. You were just already pre-made by the time I came here. And you guys go back home. Because I'm actually going to probably split these guys up again. And we'll see what happens. Because... Well, I keep saying that. i got to stop saying that, too. Actually, we got to deal with bureaucrats and stuff like that over there. We do have the little Indian spot right here. So that's not too bad. I think, though... It might be best we go to War of Vietnam. Even though we probably get an event for them later on, though. So, maybe instead, we come to Sulu? Let's double check. Cause, so, I usually come over here because it's, it's so easy to get over here. And the Dutch don't have their hands in Sulu yet. So, just because we need a good place to really invade from. And Burma's already in British sphere. Um, there's really nowhere good down here. Sulu, this, the, Indonesia. It's not, is this Indonesia? Is this Malaysia? I can't remember. Regardless. Uh, it's always pretty good to come down here. Bone isn't bad either. Actually, Bone will eventually have a lot of good materials down here. Hey, I'll figure it out. Well, with a little bit more infamy now, we have a potato famine debated. And while our people still labor under ghastly conditions in the fields, what has our government done to relieve the starving farmers affected by the very year by the dreaded potato blight? Economic freedom could allow for the import of ersatz foodstuffs, but privileges long established must apparently be maintained. Liberal sympathizers have come out of the woodwork both locally and in Parliament criticizing our government for its inability to handle the potato blight that recently struck one of our provinces. If the Liberals become too strong, they may very well conspire again to ferment around revolution. We should also consider dispatching troops to provinces where we see liberal agitation. Suppress them, get more reactionary, or let them have the same problem and the effects might dissipate. Might as well. Also, let's see, we're still this party. Uh, we've gone with secret ballots, we've got base and population, and actually there's 33% uh, support for weighted universal. I'm like, okay, we're about 9 consciousness, 9 plus actually, so I'm like, okay, if they want more weighted universal voting, Okay, whatever people want to vote. As long as we still have slaves, we're okay. So, actually, what do the people want next? Freedom of the womb? Nah. Freedom of the womb? Nah. But anyways, so we're going to go to war with Sulu. I originally wanted to go to war with Brunei, but apparently... 
Uh, the UK is here, getting involved, and I actually have the justification ready to go. That's why it's 19, 1842 right now. I was about to go to war, but then I realized, oh, Sarawak became independent, and the British got involved. Gosh darn Brits. Uh, and we're going to attack Sabah right here, which actually this is overall better, I think, in my opinion, just because you could have gotten three provinces, Brunei, well, just West Borneo. This is West Borneo. There's more. There's one more tile here. And obviously, all these businesses are really good. Eventually, this will become very, very good as well. Sandak. Sandakan. So, it'll become very good like as we hold on to it. But I just want a springboard into China. That's literally all I want. Because the Chinese are certainly... Oh, well. I should have taken Formosa. God dang it. That would have been really good. Or, or uh... I guess it's probably part... Yeah, it's part of Formosa as well. Whatever. Oh, and now we fight all those people... The watch on Paris. Fast and true states stands the guard in Paris, at least if a local poet is to be believed. A political pamphlet decrying the state of our nation, its political backwardness and oppression, has inflamed feelings in one of our states. All around France, cries for national unity can be heard, as liberals take to the streets protesting the old order, calling for national unification with their cultural brethren in other countries and a liberalization of our political system. We should consider dispatching troops to provinces where liberal agitation is present, later revolutionaries, become more liberal, the or old order must be defended. Ah, we'll go with bloody revolutionaries. Uh, yeah, we do get the liberal agitation. I usually show you most of the events, but we don't get all the events. Let's see, where is it? Ah, constitutional crisis, because, well, I liked doing our party here. And liberal ag agitation, so. So, I guess technically, I keep going back to the old order, but I'm, I'm doing more liberal reforms. I'm not a very good reactionary now, am I? Oh, well. Let's see, and I'll, I'm also trying to get some intellectuals down here. I thought about intellectuals over here too, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Uh, yeah, they have a tie in there. Oh, what's going on? What the heck is going on down here? Oh, the Qing Chinese are down there. Okay, that's interesting. But let's see what happens. We should do relatively okay. It shouldn't be too difficult to do this, but you never know. Ah, uh, not bad. Show Wars. War of the Saba con Concession. That'd be great. And I love more research points. In addition to more functionalism for more education points and colonial migration. Please, 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 please. Oh, what happened here? Ah, uh, negotiate unequal treaty. Demand... Oh, oh, God. No, 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 no. What's going on? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Poor Arthur, that's not too bad. I thought it would be like just the entire area of that group. I'd be like, wow, that sucks. But that's alright. You know, if we can, we might actually go to war with Kutai as well, just early on next time. Just because it could be very good for us to do so. Oh, the game's lagging a little bit. Uh, just before anyone else gets in here, especially those gosh darn Dutch folk. Mm. So, East Borneo might not be bad, because this entire area here will be worth a lot in the future. Not now, at least us, but in the future. So, And I still want to build a bigger army. We're actually getting more population, which is nice. Total population is 35 million. Uh... Not too bad. Spain. Buddy. Spain. Come on, man. Get real. Oh, what's that? Building roads and all sorts of rain? No thanks. House debate on botany. And yet, while some amongst us history can't afford the bare minimum of foods and clothing, our government spends wasteful millions on spending expeditions of godforsaken corners of nowhere in search of colorful flowers. A debate has broken out in the upper house over the botanical expedition that we decided to fund some long time ago. Liberals oppose the expenses that expedition has accrued, claiming that France can ill afford such luxuries. Abort the expedition? We go on to find exotic flowers. You mean a bunch of flowers? What could be better than that? You out of your mind. The flowers. People can feed themselves. We need flowers. Liberal agitation spreads. If you like, uh, I guess like rats carrying contagious diseases, the preachers of modernity can move effortlessly back and forth across the borders. Liberal agitation spread to Bordeaux from a neighboring province is now threatening to inflame the entire state. Might want to send some troops there. Whatever. Uh, fire a sermon in Angoulême. And let it be known that those who cause... Oh, argue the cause of revolution, argue against the cause and the design of Almighty God Himself, for He, in His wisdom, has made kingdoms on earth and set kings to rule over them. A local preacher, Angoulême, has held a fiery sermon con condemning several liberal causes. He sounds like a reasonable man. Alright then. I just want your territory. Actually, who are we fighting? A bunch of states here. Kalimantan, oh, say, so it's not Kutai, that's actually pretty good. So, and we'll get over there. We shall consider it. I don't really care. Oh, I don't really care. <laughs> Again, liberal agitation. It is what it is. Night training, not bad. We got a lot of influence for Carlos Spain. Ooh, actually, it's good. Uh, decrease the opinion of the gosh darn uh, who else here. Yeah, there you go. Hey, there we go. So, I think that will end this episode. We've done pretty darn well. We took out the Haitians, which is exactly something I wanted to do. Uh, this has way, way, way better supplies, so we'll do it there. So, awesome. Yeah, we took out Haiti. 
All right, at least we got Haiti back because we honestly deserve it. We got Panama Canal, which is going to be great, great, great for us in the future. And that's looking too, not too bad. And we sent our guard unit down there too, which probably wasn't a good idea. And we've taken out this little area, so we have a springboard to launch into mainland China, which is exactly what we should do. But regardless, let me know in the comments below. I know we can't see everybody here, but is there any other nation that we should take out? Like, obviously, I want China and their ports. I want probably Vietnam eventually, because that's pretty historical for us. Um, should we invade the Middle East? Should I take out Persia eventually? Maybe. Should I eventually take out parts of Africa, especially down in this region, because usually there's a lot of population, and I love that for that area. Maybe the Congo. Let me know in the comments below, and maybe even Uruguay, because no one remembers or cares about Uruguay. Just saying. Should we take out more Colombia? Because actually, I've heard that this area here is really worth it. Uh, or should we take out Venezuela? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed our first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. When we have another great time as the French. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.